I'm Kerry Young. I'm the author of Pao, which is a book about uh, Yang Pao, a Chinese Jamaican godfather who comes to Kingston at the age of 14 with his mother and brother and is schooled in the ways of the family business by Zhang, who's his stepfather. And later on, Pao inherits that business, earns for himself the title of uncle. So it's really, it's really a book about how to manage two kinds of family businesses. And that makes it sound like a really serious book, and it's not at all, um, because Yang Pao's no Don Corleone. And most of the time, he hasn't the faintest idea about the consequences of his actions. And so it's very humorous, and it's fun. It's a fun and funny book. What inspired me to write the book was two things. Um, the first thing is a love of my father, and the second thing is a love of Jamaica. My father died um, very young, and I, I wanted for him a better life than the one he had, really, and I, I, I invented Pao to, as a gift. That was my gift to him. It was Yang Pao who um, was much more successful than he was, much more inventive than he was, and a lot, lot funnier. Um, that my dad was, and that was really for me to him uh, because I also left Jamaica before he died and I never got a chance to say goodbye to him. So it's kind of like my goodbye to him as well. Um, so Yang Pao is fictional, but he, is, he comes from somewhere. He comes from my father, partly remembered, but mostly imagined. And uh, for Jamaica, I just, I, I think we're misunderstood, us Jamaicans, and our journey. And I just wanted people to understand some of the reasons why we have had the difficult and sometimes violent path that we have and how colonialism and slavery left us with a society divided by race and class and color and what that, how that has impacted on us, what that has meant to us. And that we're a very diverse society, not just the Africans who came as slaves, but the Chinese shopkeeping middle class and the Indians and the white Jamaicans, all of whom are part of building Jamaica and why it is for us, the national motto out of many, one people is so important. It took a tremendous amount of research to put, I mean, obviously with that breadth of history and so on. And I, and I wanted it to be, uh, I wanted it to be true, I wanted it to be accurate. So all of the history, all of the politics, the, the, the layout of downtown Chinatown, the geography of it, um, I wanted that all to be accurate. And I wanted an authentic voice. So there was a lot of reading about social and political history. I made three trips to Jamaica during the time and I had loads of conversations, particularly with my mum and with other members of my family, um, because I wanted both those things. I wanted accuracy and I wanted authenticity. I mean, obviously, I spent the first 10 years of my life there, so there's, there's that as well. But I think for me, what's been really great is the conversations with my mum, because I've learned so much. We've learned so much, the whole family, about our family, which obviously hasn't ended up in the book, but it's been very rich for us things that are new, things that are new, perspectives on all things. And one of the great things for me is that I think the experience has strengthened my relationship with my mum and that for her it's been a source of healing in terms of things from the past. So for me that's been a really beautiful bonus um, about writing power. And that's why the dedication at the beginning says, for my father and my mother and Jamaica land we love. I want people to be entertained. Uh, it sounds like a serious book and it has some serious questions, um, but to me it's fun. I want them to enjoy the characters. I think it's a great bunch of people who I hope will live on with them um, after they finish the book. Um, I'd like them to learn a bit about Jamaica and understand uh, you know, where we've come from, where we're going, where we're up to, um, and what a wonderful, beautiful country it is. Maybe people would even go. Um, the third thing is maybe take some of the wisdom, some of the wisdom from Zhang's Buddhism or from uh, the Sun Tzu art of war that maybe has some resonance or some relevance for their own lives that, you know, bring some meaning. I think the key thing for me is for us to remember that as human beings we are both complex and flawed, that we're both good and bad, that um, uh, Good intentions sometimes leads to bad deeds. 
and bad deeds sometimes leads to good consequences and that um, we are all of those things, that we, that we come to our circumstances um, that are not of our making. We enter into that. We enter into something that history has created for us and given to us. And we try to do our best. <laughs>